Hey, what is up, guys? It's Fonte over here with another video, and in this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 running iOS 11.2.5 to an iPhone 6 running iOS 10.3.3. So, as always, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so first, I'm gonna go to both devices here at the same time. This is the one running 10.3.3, this is the one running 11.2.5. So let's see if Apple didn't improve anything here with 11.2.5, but usually iOS 11.2 and above has a better boot booting up time than iOS 10.3.3 or iOS 10 in particular or 11.1 or anything below. So let's see if this is the case with 2.5 here. So of course guys, both phones are identical, 16 gigs, um, iPhone 6 is here, so uh, there's nothing different, except that they're running different OSs, and as you can see guys, Slightly faster than 11.2.5, that's something good to see there. All right guys, so both phones have nothing running in the background. I'm gonna start a speed test. So first up, calendar on both. It was about identical there, I think. Going for weather. Slightly faster on the 10.3.3, on iOS 10. Going out, going for stocks. I, I think it was a millisecond or so faster on the 10.3.3 again. Going for phone dialer. Identical. So next up guys, Safari here. Loading Apple.com. And both are loading the iPhone X's uh, page. So uh, let me just go all the way up here. Uh, scrolling down. Okay, scrolling down is way faster than iOS 11. But it's not necessarily smooth. I mean, uh, it's not loading everything here. So just go all the way up. So yeah, some lag there with a the X sign. Okay, on both devices there's some lag. It does lag on both. Moving out, going for App Store. I think it was identical, to be honest. Next up here, guys, Home. It was identical actually on both, that's good. Launching some lag there, well, going to the next page on the iPhone running iOS 11. Next up, Watch. Watch is slightly faster on iOS 10. So uh, next up going for music. Sort of identical. Uh, going for clock. Slightly faster on 11, iOS 11.2.5. Going for reminders. Slightly faster on iOS 10. Leaving. All right now guys for some third-party apps. So first up here, Geekbench. Responded faster on 10. Uh, iOS 11. Moving out, going for Antutu Benchmark. So it was about the same, I think iOS, uh, iOS 10 was slightly faster there. Next up guys here, Space Fonter. So definitely faster on I iOS 10 there. It was really slow on iOS 11.2.5 for some reason. Moving out. Uh, next up, Temperon 2. Uh, seems faster on iOS 10. Mm, not necessarily, I, I don't know at this point. So the loading bar is about to finish here on the 11.2.5. But, uh, nope, it's interesting actually. So iOS 10.3.3 is actually faster. So I can definitely play like a good three to four seconds before uh, I, iPhone 6 on I, iOS 11.2.5 coming out. Next up, Subway Surfers. So uh, th this phone responded faster and the loading bar is half done here on iOS 10. Okay, definitely, way faster. I don't know, for some reason, it feels like even iOS 11.2.5 actually slower than previous iOS 11 versions when it comes to loading games. So there is a remarkable difference. Uh, going to Rush. As soon as this time, so, uh, it's about the same. No, actually, th this phone is almost done. There's an ad here. Okay, so even with an ad, this phone was actually way slower, this one was faster. Going 
going out guys now guys for some ram management first up calendar uh 10 i was 10 kept in the background i was 11 couldn't weather same same thing here next up stocks so ios 10 did keep it in the memory as well ios 11 couldn't phone same thing so ios 10 is way better with ram management next up safari okay both have to refresh going out home both have to refresh watch so uh, ios 10 kept it ios 11 had to refresh music same issue so ios 10 is doing really good here ios 11 isn't at all so ios 11 is clearly optimized for phones with one gigabyte of ram and definitely a refresh so it's sad to see how bad ios 6 is with keeping apps in the back and the memory here so it's failing reminders same so ios 10 is doing really well here so geekbench so i'm actually surprised uh with ios 10 it's doing really good here next up and to the benchmark wow okay both have to refresh game here and both have to refresh temporal two okay both have to refresh so ios 11 uh, really like keeps the game the game frozen there for a second and then reloads so it may first impression is like the phone actually kept the game in the background you'd think so but actually it didn't let's see subway surfers is it possible? Whoa. So iOS 11 kept Subway Surfers. It's amazing. So finally iOS 11 did, <laughs> did do something there. Congrats. Next up, going for another game here called Rush. And that's the final one. So both at refresh. So uh, iPhone 6, iOS 10 kept uh, all the stock, almost all the stock apps in the background where iPhone Six iOS 11.2.5 did do a comeback there with a subway surfers, so um, I think this one was better though. All right, guys, enough for a CPU test. So running benchmark here, and as always, guys, just gonna skip right into the score. All right, guys, here we have the scores. This is the iPhone 6 running iOS 11.2.5, and that's the one running 10.3.3. Just want to say, guys, that I did a battery life test here, and uh, this one has 80, 83%, so 70% uh, wear here, where this has 3% wear, so that's why the score on this phone is way lower. But when I say, guys, that the funny thing is that I did test this phone on another version, or, I mean, I did a do compression with this phone, on Tempo 3.3 as well, and it had, I think, 97%, so uh, the thing is that it's impossible to lose 14% in a couple of days, so I don't know what's up, but when it came to speed, this phone was really f even faster, than, way faster than the iPhone with 3%. So battery life apps are not accurate. Just want to say that, guys. Um, as well as I uh, want to say that, uh, so even with the more wear level, it's, it's better than iOS 11. 10.3.3 is better. All right, guys, and here for a final test, um, onto the benchmark. Now, all, as always, guys, gonna speed things up. All right, guys, so here we have the scores. The iPhone 10, the iPhone 6, sorry, guys, I keep saying iPhone 10. The iPhone 6 running iOS 11.2.5 scored better, probably because of the wear level. So 3D-wise, iPhone 6, 10.3.3 had better score. UX, CPU, and RAM was all better on the iPhone running 11.2.5, even though the RAM doesn't make sense because uh, clearly this phone did win. The RAM management kept more apps in the memory. This failed, only kept subway surfers.
All right, guys, that was the comparison between the iPhone 6 running iOS 11.2.5 and the one running iOS 10.3.3. Just want to say, guys, that uh, the one with 10.3.3 had a way higher wear level of 17%, whereas the other one had 3% wear level on some apps, it was 6% though, but still way less than the one with iOS 10. And they both lost 20% battery life. So I want to say that the battery on iOS 10 was better. It, I mean, more wear level, but same battery per performance. So I want to say that iOS 11 really drains more battery, guys. So hope you guys like the video. Subscribe for more content and peace out.